Hello boys and girls, today we're going to be talking about absorption and reflection. We already did our anchor chart earlier and then we came up with a group definition for reflection and absorption. So let's see what were, what were they. So for reflection, we came up that it means the throwing back of an object or body, just like a mirror. And then for absorption, we came up with that is to take in or soak like a sponge. Oh, so we're gonna see if this um, reflects or an, ex an experiment that we're gonna do, if this applies to our experiment, all right? And so our experiment for today is going to be about colors. What colors absorbs or reflects light and heat? Hmm, what do you think it means when I say what colors absorbs or reflects light and heat? Can you talk about your group and see what you see what you think it means? I'll give you a minute. All right. So please give them, give me some ideas. Throw in some ideas. All right, yes. Oh, it means that maybe we're gonna experiment, okay? What about you? Oh, okay. So it means that maybe it means that we're gonna be using colors. And colors and what? Oh, that's a good idea. Using t-shirts. Guess what? That's what I was going to say. Because guess what happened to me the other day? I went to the beach and it was a really hot day. I went with my friend. So we went to a beach and it was a really hot day. And I was Feeling, I wasn't feeling well. I was feeling hot and I was feeling dizzy. And I didn't know why, because my friend that was with me, she didn't feel that way. She was feeling well, she was feeling okay. And then we got to think, and we were thinking, maybe does the color of her shirts have to do anything with it? And I was wearing black. I was wearing this, a black shirt, just like this one. And my friend was wearing a white shirt. So we were thinking, hmm, could that be, could that be it? But maybe I was probably absorbing more heat and light from the sun and my friend was reflecting that because she was wearing a white shirt. Hmm, we got to thinking about that. So we can do an experiment today and to see what, who absorbed, what color of our shirts absorbed the most light and heat. So here you go, I have, I have two shirts right here. They're construction papers. So each one, each table, you're gonna get this two. You're gonna get a black construction paper and then a white construction paper. And then it'll symbolize our t-shirts, my friends and my t-shirt, all right, that we took to the beach that day. So here you go, we're all gonna get this. And then we're all going to be getting ties. On the Ziploc, you all have this on your tables as well. Great job. I see that everyone is, yeah, everyone's showing me that they have those. Okay, great. So what do you think we're gonna do with this? Yes, that's a great idea. Yes, we're gonna be taking it outside because outside it's really hot today. So we're lucky that we have a lot of sun. So that way we can test our, our experiment and see what color of construction paper on of the t-shirt absorbs more light and heat. All right, we're gonna see which one absorbs and which one reflects, right? And remember our, our definitions is that reflection is the throwing back of an object or body, just like a mirror. And then the absor absorbing is, or abs to absorb means to take in or soak like a sponge. So we're gonna see which one of this that's that. All right, are you ready? So let's take this outside. We're gonna put it under the sun. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, now that we did that, we're just gonna leave it there for 10 minutes. I want you to see each one got a paper that looks like this. I just have it big so that way everybody can see. Do you, did you find it? Great job, yes. Okay, everyone has it? Awesome, okay. So we have right here that says our name. So right here, you're gonna write your name. This is the first step, okay? I'm gonna write my name, teacher, 
Jessica. With my blue marker. And then the second thing that says, it says to place an ice cube on the black paper and one on the white paper in a zipper bag. Did we already do that? Yes, so we don't, so we already did that. And then it says draw what it looks like. So it's asking us to draw what or zip blocks that went on the ice, what it looked like. So what did it look like on the black construction t-shirt and on the white construction t-shirt? So I'm gonna draw here that on the black, I remember that it looked like this. So it was with this, a t-shirt, and then here's our Ziploc bag. And then we had in the round eyes. And then right here, I'm gonna do the same thing because they look the same. There was no changes yet. So, and then I have my Ziploc with another ice right there. So I want you, and then, oh, yes, that's right. It looks the same, right? It does look the same. You think it's gonna look the same after the experiment? No? Yes? Oh, okay, we're gonna see. We're gonna wait for 10 minutes and see. We're gonna go get them after. But right now, we're gonna predict what's gonna happen, all right? So predicting is to predict what's gonna happen. We don't know yet, but we're thinking about what could happen. So it's asking, which one do you think will melt first? So again, let's read it together. Which one do you think will melt first? Um, you know what I think? Hmm, what do I think? I want you, I want you to talk to your partner right now, your partner, and ask them and tell them you're thinking, like, which one do you think it will melt first? Do you think the one on the black construction paper will melt first or the one on the white? Let's talk to your partners, okay? Well, I'll give you in a minute. All right, great. Now we're going to be talking in a group. So share your thinking with your group on the table, all right? I'll give you another minute to do that. Okay, okay, I want to hear what you're thinking, what you're thinking, all right? Yes? Ooh, I think the black construction paper will melt first. Why do you think so? Oh, because I was the one that was feeling, uh, oh, that's a good one, that, that I was feeling, I wasn't feeling well, and I was wearing a black t-shirt, and my friend was wearing a white t-shirt, okay? So that means I was, Absorbed. Oh, okay, so I was absorbing the light. So that means I'll, the black t the one on the black t-shirt will melt. Okay. What about the other one? Oh, okay. So you think that the white is going to reflect the sun. So that's why it's going to melt slower. Okay. We'll see what's gonna happen, but I think I'm going with the black one. I think that the black one. Cause that's a that's a good idea, I think. But since I was the one that was wearing the black shirt, and I was the one that was feeling unwell, maybe I was the one that was, was observing the most light. So I'm going to write that down. I'm going to write black. And if you don't know how to spell it, you can just use an arrow pointing which one, or you can look at this right here. You see it right here. That's black. So you can just write down. What says right here. All right. All right. Okay. So then it's asking what happened. So I think it's oh, it's been over 10 minutes. So let's go see what happened. Let's go bring it back. All right. Are you ready? Let's go. All right. So we're back with or ice and or t-shirts. Oh my goodness, look at what happened. Can you see what happened? What happened with the, the ice with the white t-shirt? And what happened with the ice on the black t-shirt? 
Oh my gosh, yes, there's so much water on the one with the black t-shirt. Okay, so we're gonna put it on your table, put it on your table so everybody can see. And we're going, it says what happened on the black t-shirt and on the white t-shirt. So I'm gonna draw what it looks like right now. So I'm gonna draw my t-shirt right here. So I'm drawing what it looks like. And I see that there's a lot of water. It kind of looks round, round. Oh, some of you looks like it's an oval. Wow, okay. It kind of looks round. I think it looks like an oval as well. So I'm gonna draw, there's a lot of water. And then one of the white t-shirt, let me draw the white t-shirt right here. Just like so. I see that there is some water in there, but not as much as the one with the black t-shirt. So I'm gonna draw it because it looks still like it's still round. And there's a little bit of water on it. Wow, so that's how it looks like. Did you so illustrate yours on your paper? Finish drawing it. What, what happened? So so the last question says. Which one melted first? Okay, let's read that together. Which one melted first? So which one melted first? Who can tell me? Oh, the one with the black paper, okay. Yes, black, okay, everybody say black, all right. So we're gonna write here. I'm gonna put the black, it's like a black construction paper, right? There we go. And if you can't write it again, if you can write it again, you can just point to it with an arrow or you can just copy right here, right there, black. Right? All right, so let's see. Let's see what happened. So since we can't see it very clearly, let's get some cups. These are measuring cups so we can see like this is half a cup and it is one half a cup, okay? So it's the same as the other one. So I'm gonna put this one that I'm gonna be writing the white. I'm gonna label that this is going to be the white. And then I'm gonna put this one in a different color. Let me put this black so that way I know that this was the one with the black. All right, just like so. You guys can label those. So that way we know which one is which. So I'm gonna get the one with the Ziploc with the white. I'm gonna put it in one cup. I'm gonna just put it like this. And then I'm gonna get the one that says black, the label. I'm gonna get the one with the Ziploc that's with the black construction paper. I'm gonna put it in here. Wow. Okay, so this, I have a black and I have a white. Can you see that? Can you see the difference? Right there. So I'm going to draw a line so that way we can see it better. So right here, this one's a black one. And you can see that the label of water is right here. Right there. Right there. The water gets right there. And then the white one, the one that was on the zip up, this white zip up is right there. This is a tiny bit. Right there, can you see? So let's compare it. Look at the line. Wow, so this one, the one with the black paper has more water, right? So what do you think that means? What does it mean? Yes, that the black shirt was the one that absorbed more light, more light and heat, yes. And then the one that was reflecting, which one was reflecting, the, the black shirt or the white shirt? Which one was reflecting? Yeah, that, the white shirt, right? And why do you think that? Yeah, well, based on my story, yes, based on the story, 
uh, my friend was feeling well and she was wearing a white shirt and I wasn't feeling well and I was wearing the black shirt, yes? What's another reason? What could another reason be? Yes, that's right. Because oh, based on our experiment, yeah, based on our experiment, the one that melted faster, the one that melted the most water was the one with the black. So this was absorbing more light and heat from the sun than the white shirt. Yeah, the white shirt, that's right, it was reflecting. And then the black shirt was absorbing, taking it in like a sponge. The white one was reflecting. You see, we like based on our definition that it's throwing back, just reflection. So it's like this. Okay, like there were two, right? Just reflecting. It's just coming back like this. Nothing's happened. It's just reflecting. Looking back at each other, and nothing's really happening, right? Yes, that's right. All right. So what do you think we can do to test this out? If this is really true, what can we do to find more about this experiment? Which we, if, it, if the color really is the one that um, affects absorption and reflection, what are some ideas? Talk about a monster group. I'm gonna give you a minute and so you can give me some ideas. Yes, okay, so I see some of you very excited. So let's start with one group. What's one idea? Ooh, I like that. I like that idea. That's really awesome. But I didn't think about that. We can wear our own shirts and we can go out in the sun and see, yeah, like divide in groups and see two of you can wear the black shirt and two of you can wear the white shirt and see, contrast and compare. That's a good with our experiment, right? The one that we just did. Another one, yeah, with the cups, yes. Yes, that's right. With the cup, see, let me show you what she's talking about. Now we can use cups of ice and then contrast and compare to our experiment if it, the color had anything to do with absorption and reflection. So we can do that as well, all right? So I'm gonna give you another sheet just like this so we can record um, our next experiment that will be with this, all right, with the cups. Well, thank you, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed that experiment. And then we'll see you in the next one, all right? Bye-bye.